Good morning, how are you? I think it's still morning, I'm pretty sure it is. I hope you're doing good. I'm standing in my sunroom. Flies <laughs> flying past, I apologise. We get quite a few flies living in the country, um, more so I think than we need to live in an urban setting. Anyway guys, here's my sunroom come dining room come entrance to the house and I have been decluttering it in the last month or so but you know I haven't showed you the process it's a really really good space it's really versatile but I have been trying to go minimalistic but that is very hard for me so I feel like I need to put something little back I don't know what quite yet I'm liking the things that I have got in here now let me show you <laughs> let me show you the shocking element just kidding guys this is an old sheet because I only have two linen tablecloths and they are being used so this let me just put this plate down this was my craft table and the first thing I need to do is sand it. See, even here when I was making a Merry Christmas sign, I had to make sure that I was spelling it right in French. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't like the old sheet on it. It looks a bit rugged, so I'm definitely wanting to show the table. It's actually a really cool table, and I'm just going to sand it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, whether I'm going to repaint it. I might just leave it mega sanded, if you get what I mean. Like, mega sanded doesn't make sense, but like, um, like really shabby. It's not so bad down the end. So I had an eye infection about six weeks ago, so I have been really trying not to do any sanding, just because I didn't want to wreck my eyes with <laughs> sand dust, even though I would wear some protection. So it is time now to sand it again. So I'm really looking forward to it. So I found an old paintbrush and some <laughs> old paint stripper. I'm sure there's a little bit left. I'm going to put it on the table. I still do want to keep some of the blue. I actually quite like the blue. There's never an option to Good to use an old paintbrush because you really don't want to use it again. And it's good to do it outside because of ventilation. I am wearing a mask and goggles. So. It is so hot guys for this time of year. So I'll put the paint stripper on. Let me show you. I'll just turn you around. I'll just take my mask off while I talk about this bit. So what I've done is put the paint stripper on and it sort of not even quite really that dry and I've got the sander and I wanted to make a nice grey blue tone I really don't mind if most of the table is paint still but my thought my process and thinking about what to do about it is I want it to look old even though it's, it's a new table like you know it's not an antique or anything and I wanted it to look like it's got lots and lots of layers of paint without it looking like someone's taken a paintbrush and just flicked it everywhere i want it to look like the layers are coming through so i've still got quite a bit of work to do on it so i will come back in part two and we'll finish up the table thanks so much for watching and i hope you enjoy this sort of video and i'll talk to you soon bye